I know, it's, it's been a minute, it's it's been a minute, but Doc, I had to come back for the Shaman King GOAT, bro. Shaman King is actually back, guys. It doesn't feel like it is, but it is. It, it's crazy, because we haven't gotten Shaman King content in God knows how long. I, I'm almost, it's been like, what, 10, 15 years? It feels like, I don't know how long. Child, it is, we got Shaman King come back, Inuyasha? Bro, slap a like down below if you're still alive and active. Let me know if you are. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below of a Shaman King. We're gonna go deep into this video, all this good stuff. Let's get in now. I wanna watch the third everything in PV. I haven't watched it yet. Show me this shit. Oh, this arm's not looking clean, boy! Okay! I've never seen it in Japanese. Bro, the nostalgia! Spit in the sword! Yes, sir, boy! Bro, it looks so good! Oh, this was instant as fuck. Dog, this looks so good! Look at this! Look at this! It's this scene was so hard, bro! Oh my god! Dog, honestly speaking, bro, I really don't remember much about Shaman King. I remember the main character. I don't remember much about Shaman King, bro. It is kind of a blur to me, bro. So it's kind of like Inuyasha's plot. It's a blur to me, bro. But it, the fact that it's coming back is big. Mwah. All right, guys. So go into a little bit more detail here for some information. It, uh, it says that the new television anime uh, for Hiroyuki Take's Shaman King manga began streaming a new teaser promotional video for the anime on Thursday. Side of teaser also for the anime's cast and staff members. So I've never seen this show in Japanese, but the Japanese voices that we saw from the reaction earlier in the beginning of the video, if you didn't go watch that, it, it was insane. Like, th th like, the Japanese voice I think is actually wild, dude. Like, the dub, I... It was all right. The dub was all right, but bro... It's the design for me, bro. Like, it really screams at, like, early 2000s, like, anime main character, like, insane hair, big feet, twink. You know what I mean, bro? Like, 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 dead ass. It, it really just gives out the vibes like that. It's so nostalgic to me, bro. It really is, dude. You have Yoko Kasa plays protagonist. Yo! So, who does, who does this guy actually voice? Oh, it's a girl. Who does she voice? Um, some notable characters that she voices. I want to see who are some notable characters she voices. Um, is it anything that I've watched? In oh, she's Whis and Ruby. Uh, Trinity. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just looking through these because I was reading it backwards. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy. If you get forgot, Grand Blue fans. Seraphira. Um, Akibara's trip. Ryu. Wow. Zima Card goes to Nutsu, bro. What? They be getting the round. This cast is big, bro. What? Kaon? Oh, it's live. I don't know anything about the live. It should be the same, right? I don't know anything about the live. Um. Let's see. Dragon Quest Heroes. I think that also is just now getting anime. Uh, I'm just looking for things. Like Fire Emblem Heroes. Layla. Fire Emblem Heroes. Okay. Um. Interesting. Street Fighter Five. Laura. Wow. Street Fighter Five. Japanese voice actor. Dongan Rappa. Kiri Gary, that's crazy. Ichi no say for Persona 5. Bro, she does a lot of stuff. Like, she is really just out here. I'm trying to see what. Finish her online to Echo. Okay, okay. Um, Those are just a couple of things that I know. Um, that's interesting. Alyssa, also Final Fantasy 13. That's crazy. Very interesting. Crazy. Um,. It says, and, uh, what is it? In the new series, Katsuyuki, Konishi, Megumi, and Minami, son of butcher names are all reprising their respective roles from 2001. That's insane! So they kept the roles! That's OG! Because they did the original characters. Respective from 2001, anime version as Ami Damaru, Ana, Kyoma, Kyoyama, and Hao As Asakura. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm butchering the names. I apologize. Um, it says, Joji Fortar, the seven leads since Rebel of Commandment. This guy, apparently he did all this. He, he did a Seven Sense movie. He did this Utano Prince thing. Um, is directing the anime at Bridge. Which is, I guess Bridge has done Fairy Tale and the Royal Tutor. I guess that did kind of look like the Fairy Tale animation. Uh, the newer style. I mean, I guess, right guys? Like, 
it did look like the newer style animation of Fairy Tail. Um, gosh, I don't know much about Bridge. They did Dragon Ball Super. Yikes! Okay, this could be a yikes. Yeah, they did see the 2014, 2016 version, the newest style of Fairy Tail. Um, so this is a yikes. Yeah, aim production. Yikes, dude. Like, it could be good. Nobunagan. Wait, I think I've seen this show. There's so many Nobunagans. Yes, this is the Nobunagan that I watched. This shit was fire. Okay. I, okay. Th it shouldn't be that bad then. They did the new Saint Seiya, which actually has pretty solid animation. They did Sword Art and Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. So, okay, so honestly speaking, the animation I don't think is going to be too bad. Like, again, Nobunaga was solid animation. The new Fairy Tail animation was definitely all right, too. You know what I mean? Uh, Dragon Ball Super was rough in the beginning, but towards the second half, it started to be all right. You know what I mean? So I don't think it's... I, but it looked good in that trailer. So it's like, I think this dude is going to go above and beyond. But if they didn't go above and beyond for Dragon Ball, what makes you think they're going to go above and beyond for freaking uh, uh, Shaman King, man? I simply do not know. But, like, again, like I said, like... Beezle Bub, like I said, they all had solid animation. Devil Survivor 2 animation as well. I did not know the Devil Survivor. Devil Survivor, actually, I liked the animation of Devil Survivor. It was very good. I liked it. It was a solid series as well, too. Um, a lot of people said just play the games, but I mean, dude, I like the show. I watched the show before I played the game. It's solid, bro. It's actually solid. But no, like, again, like I said, like, Dragon Ball Super was the only scuffed one here. Fairy Tale Part 2, honestly, was not that bad. It was all right. It was mid. You know what I mean? Dude, Beezle was like, you know, all right, mid, the god tier. Um, the Devil Survivor and Sword Art might be the big ones because Sword Art's animation was actually kind of solid. Like, it wasn't anything god tier, breathy, like Mob Psycho, but it also wasn't Dragon Ball Super freaking Yuri on Ice shit. Like, it was actually solid. You know what I mean? I give it like a 7 8 out of 10. It was actually solid. So, that's what's animating this bridge. So, the series scripts. Um, okay, 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 okay. Interesting enough. Um, so, a couple of these guys. So, it says Yuki Hayashi. Wait, is OST? Let's go, dude! Dude, she, dude, incredible! Incredible! Sorry, it's a dude. I'm so sorry. I'm just butchering it. He's insane because the OST in My Hero and Haikyuu is already godlike. Sorry, I'm butchering anything. The godlike. I'm telling you, godlike. It's already extremely similar. Like, if you watch Haikyuu, you notice it. But Haikyuu came first, animation. So, you. And My Hero, you notice Haikyuu inspired. You know, it is a similar composer. It's the same composer. It's gonna sound similar. You know what I mean? That's Pog! That is Pog. We have a Pog OST cast, guys. Summer King OST is already low-key nostalgic. Now it's going to be Pog, bro. They have a solid animation team, bro. Uh, he's directing the anime at Bridge. So this guy is, that is directing the anime, Joji, um, which, like I said, uh, he's done all this Pokemon franchise as well. You guys saw our new Pokemon franchise animation. is fire. So it, it looked more closer to that. So that could be solid. Is the anime will premiere on TV Tokyo and its affiliates in April 2021. So it comes out next spring, guys. And it will adapt to all 35 volumes of the manga's new complete edition. So this is the final. This is actually the final of Shaman King. It's, co it's completing all 35 volumes they've never animated yet. Which Kodansha started publishing in print volumes in Japan on June 17th. So you wait, Kodansha started publishing in print volumes... So were these volumes ever printed? The first anime adaptation of the manga premiered in 2001. So that that's actually almost, that was literally a 20 year anniversary. Cause next year when it comes out, I would assume it came out in April. I don't know the specific date, but it's the year. So next year's 20th anniversary for it or 20 year. But um, it's really crazy that apparently there's just 35 volumes of the manga that just never adapted. And now they're adapted that it comes out April of 2021. A lot of people, when I do these videos, are like, oh, you never did the re uh, uh, release date. The release date is April of 2021, okay? Which is looking like next year anime is going to be fire, bro. I mean, we get the finale of Seven Leaves Sins. I mean, it's going to be rough because the ending was ass. Animation, I think, is also going to be ass. I'm going to talk about that in a later video. But uh, Dr. Stone, we start off the year in Dr. Stone. Fai, bro. Fai, man. Fight. I've also been hearing rumors of Demon Slayer Season 2 next year, so be on the lookout for that. Um, that's just crazy, bro. Volumes 33, 34, and 35 will appear for the first time in English, along with the first 32 volumes on Amazon's Kindle Story and Comicology Store. So, I guess the guy just never published uh, the... If I'm not... I'm from interpreting this right. It says that uh, he started publishing the in print volumes in Japan on June 17th. Doesn't show a year, so I would assume it was this year of 2020. Um, so, that's crazy. Uh, in the world of Shaman King, Shaman Passes, uh, he didn't know Shaman King. Shaman Passes mysterious powers that allowed him to commune with God's spirits. It, it's kind of in the name. You get it. 
You can't, it's gonna end the name. So it debuted in 1998, for a fun fact, but it, it's just so crazy, bro. And the manga, from 2003 to 2011, but it no longer holds the license to the manga. Shueishi originally held the rights in the manga in Japan. So the series abruptly ended in 2004. Okay, although a reprinting of the manga revealed a true ending in 2009, Viz Media published 32 volumes of the original Shadow Monkey manga from 2011. Okay, interesting. So, guys, this is insane. Big, 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 big news for Shadow King. It's big. Inuyasha, Shadow King. I even heard of Berserk, which I'll be talking about, I guess, tomorrow. Crazy, dude. Guys, let me know what you thought down below. Subscribe if you're brand new. Leave a like down below. Yes, guys, I'm posting content on this channel. Again, it's for like four months. I'm sorry. But um, I hope this video stood as well. If you guys are still here, so around, thank you for being patient with me. You guys have always been patient. Appreciate it so much, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.